Have you heard the latest news from NASA? Today they announced the cancellation of the highly anticipated Viper Lunar Rover, which was set to search for water ice at the moon's south pole. This decision, despite the Viper team's outstanding work, comes down to budget constraints as NASA faces significant financial cuts. Viper, or the Volatiles Investigating Polar Exploration Rover, was designed for an ambitious mission. For 100 days, it was to roam the lunar south pole equipped with scientific instruments and a one-meter drill searching for water ice. Previous NASA probes detected evidence of water in the permanently shadowed regions at the moon's poles, possibly deposited by comets over eons. Viper was crucial in creating the first lunar water resource map. Today, Nikki Fox, head of NASA's Science Mission Directorate, and Joel Kearns, who leads the Exploration Science Strategy and Integration Office, explained the tough decision to cancel Viper. They acknowledged the project's importance, but cited cost growth as a significant issue. While NASA has informed Congress and is awaiting a response, the final decision will ultimately rest with Congressional Appropriations Committees. This decision is part of a larger context of budget cuts resulting from last year's Fiscal Responsibility Act. Negotiations between then-House Speaker Kevin McCarthy and President Biden led to deep cuts in federal spending, which impacted NASA's budget. As a result, NASA has had to make difficult choices, reconsidering missions like the Mars sample return, and now, Viper. Initially announced with an estimated cost that seemed manageable, the project faced numerous challenges that increased expenses significantly. Supply chain issues due to the COVID pandemic caused delays in critical component deliveries, and NASA's decision to rely on a commercial provider, Astrobotic, for the lander introduced further complications. Astrobotics' small Peregrine lander experienced a propulsion failure, delaying the development of Griffin, the larger lander needed for Viper. Despite these setbacks, the CLPS contract with Astrobotic will continue. Astrobotic plans to proceed with sending Griffin to the moon, carrying payloads for other commercial customers, CEO John Thornton mentioned they are exploring the best utilization of the mission. Meanwhile, NASA has spent a substantial amount on Viper, excluding the SILPS contract, and is open to expressions of interest from industry or international partners to use Viper at no cost to the U.S. government. Fox and Kearns remain optimistic about the overall CLPS initiative. Other missions under CLPS are progressing, with Intuitive Machines completing a somewhat successful mission earlier this year. More missions are planned, and several others are on the books, showcasing the ongoing potential of commercial partnerships in lunar exploration. Managed by NASA's Ames Research Center in California, Viper is the second California-based NASA mission this year to face significant setbacks. The Mars Sample Return Mission, managed by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, also experienced budget cuts, leading to workforce reductions and prompting backlash from the California Congressional Delegation. Although MSR hasn't been canceled, NASA is exploring less expensive alternatives. Viper was designed to be more than just a rover. It was meant to be a pioneer in the search for lunar water, exploring the moon's south pole to uncover vital resources that could support future human missions. The south pole is of particular interest because of its permanently shadowed regions, which are believed to contain deposits of water ice. Water is essential for sustaining life and can be broken down into hydrogen and oxygen potentially providing fuel for rockets and breathable air for astronauts. Viper's mission would have been a significant step toward establishing a sustainable human presence on the moon. However, the challenges Viper faced were numerous. Supply chain disruptions caused by the COVID pandemic led to delays in acquiring critical components. Additionally, the decision to partner with Astrobotic for the lander introduced further complications. 
astrobotic small peregrine lander encountered a propulsion failure, delaying the development of Griffin, the larger lander needed for Viper. These delays and issues contributed to the growing costs of the mission. Despite the cancellation of Viper, the CLPS contract with Astrobotic will continue. Astrobotic plans to proceed with sending Griffin to the moon, carrying payloads for other commercial customers. CEO John Thornton mentioned they are exploring the best utilization of the mission. Now, meanwhile, NASA has spent a substantial amount on Viper, excluding the CLPS contract, and is open to expressions of interest from industry or international partners to use Viper at no cost to the U.S. government. If no interest is expressed, the rover will be disassembled and its instruments and components repurposed for other missions. The cancellation of Viper raises important questions about the future of lunar exploration. The search for water on the moon is crucial for the long-term sustainability of human missions. Water is not only essential for life, but also holds the potential to be used as a resource for fuel and breathable air. The South Pole, with its permanently shadowed regions, is a prime location for this search. Viper was designed to be a critical tool in this endeavor, and its cancellation leaves a significant gap in our plans for lunar exploration. NASA's decision to cancel Viper due to budget constraints highlights the challenges of balancing scientific ambition with financial realities. As we look to the future, it's clear that the search for lunar water will continue to be a priority. The discoveries made by previous missions have shown that the moon holds the potential for valuable resources, and the quest to uncover these resources will persist. As we move forward, it's essential to consider how we can overcome the challenges that have hindered Viper's mission. Can we find more cost-effective ways to explore the moon? Can international partnerships and collaborations provide the support needed to achieve our goals? The search for water on the moon is far from over, and the lessons learned from Viper's journey will inform our future efforts. What do you think? Should NASA push forward with Viper despite the cost, given its potential to unlock critical lunar resources? Or should they prioritize other missions and initiatives in the face of budget constraints? Let's stay tuned and see how this story unfolds. Your thoughts and comments are invaluable as we navigate these exciting yet challenging times in space exploration. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.